Marla once said that whenever he hears a beautiful voice, he falls in love. And this happened to him again and again in the opera house. It's just something he seemingly couldn't help. The relationship between Mahler and Joanna, whatever expectations there were on Mahler's part, had to come to an end then. And after that, he referred to her as sphinx-like, that she was enigmatic and not returning his need for affection. When we look at Mahler's letters, and when we look at the way he writes to his friends about his relationships and his emotional state, it's clear that he was engaging in a kind of romantic, excessive infatuation. I think that Mahler is one of the most astounding examples of a master of song that gets completely the symbiosis of word elements and musical elements as identifying something that you experience both emotionally and intellectually. As he heads out into the fields, he starts a dialogue with the birds and even with the flowers. After all of the babbling brooks and birds that are whispering melody in your ear, at the end of the day, you cannot forget that nature doesn't care. Jeder 